Have you ever heard of the blue pea flower plant or Clitoria? As you can imagine why it's called that. This amazing plant grows in tropical areas. It um, grows really well here in Florida where I live and it makes a super cool tea. So as you can imagine, the tea that it makes is this beautiful blue. I'll try to pop a, a video up next of the tea. Uh, as you acidify it though, uh, the tea is an indicator. So as you acidify it, it turns purple. And if you were to highly acidify it, it'll turn hot pink. Uh, to the amount that I like to drink with some lime juice or lemon juice in my tea, it's a beautiful purple. It's supposed to have mood boosting, anti-anxiety and brain boosting effects. So it is considered medicinal. Um, it's tasty and it's super cool to grow. So I highly recommend. So this is what it looks like growing. They, these plants I have here are really young. They are maybe six months, eight months old at the most. I previously had these in a different location and decided to move them. I just thought they would be lovely on my kettle panel tunnel. So there's one up close. They really are a pretty vine and a pretty plant and they grow super fast with lots of abundance. You can see this is just about a week's worth of flowers that I'm collecting here. Let's take them inside and make some tea. Um, here they are with a bunch of other tea plants that I collected today. I was in a tea kind of mood apparently. So this little teapot makes uh, three good sized cups of tea and I typically put about seven, 10 flowers if I'm feeling generous in there uh, and let that steep for about four minutes, uh, five minutes if, you, if you're patient. So then we'll just pour some hot water over the top and in fast forward motion here, we'll get to watch the tea steep. Kind of a satisfying process. It really makes a beautiful tea and it is yummy. And good for you. So here we go. It's getting blue and bluer. Agitating it there a little bit. And then we're going to acidify it. These are limes that I collected today, the Persian limes. And that is beautiful. So let's pour ourselves a cup. Look how pretty that is. Healthy and gorgeous. Um, for the extra flowers, since we won't be using all of them today and I didn't want them to dry out on the vine and go to waste, what I'll do is I'll dehydrate them for about six hours at 120 degrees. Uh, depending on how full you have your dehydrator, it may take a little bit longer. But I'll dehydrate these and pack them up in little tins for friends. Um, with some um, tea bags that they can fill with the loose tea, but they dehydrate very well and work just as well dehydrated as they do fresh. So that makes a really lovely option as a gift for friends. And it's fun uh, for people who have children to do the pH indicator uh, portion of this plant. So just really neat and a fun thing to do. So we'll arrange all these on there and we'll get the dehydrator started here in a moment. And then tonight before I go to bed, I will take them out and pack them up with little in a container and they'll be good to go. 